Hey everyone, welcome back to Scoop of the Crispy. Mike here bringing you some more, bravely a second. I'm here in Florum. We just had the festival, Florum festival thing. And Alternus and Edia, Edia, I Idia, Idia were made the, flu the bloom groom and the flower maiden. And so now, let me check all this stuff. So now what we're doing, is going to sleep in the inn. I'm gonna go for the monk or Valkyrie asterisk. Asterisk. So that is the plan. Side quest starting up right now. But first, actually not right now. Right now I gotta do some main stuff. So let's see what they have to say. And that brings the 48th Sacred Flower Festival of Florum to a close. Flower Festival, yeah. Thanks to all who took part, and take care on your way home, everyone. Well, today's just been full of surprises. I was quite taken aback as well, if not entirely displeased with the outcome. Excusez-moi, vous avez une minute? Oui, qu'est-ce que c'est? I don't so know what you're saying. you understand me. Gosh. Yes, I do. I speak but Spanish. Who are you? And English. He's speaking Magnolia's language. But how? French. Could he also be... Ah, uh, I beg your pardon. I didn't mean to startle you. I couldn't help but overhear your remarks on stage. They speak French you on the moon. You were speaking the language of the Sagita. The who what? -er? The Sagita. We are a humble tribe. But one with a mission. They feed the destroyer from the heavens, Baal. We live deep within the forest of Florum, far from the eyes of the people. Alavas, you also battled the Baals? Yes. Since my father's time, my father's fathers, and all who came before they me. They probably came from the moon. We live in isolation, so that the technology we wield against our enemy does not fall into the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. Interaction with the outside world is kept to a minimum. So you can imagine my surprise to hear you speaking the Sagita tongue. Tell me, how did you come to know it? That's what I wanted to ask you. This is my language, the language of the moon. What's this you say? You come from the moon? Mm -hmm. This is quite the, the ancestors turn of did. If you would. Pray come and speak with our elder. Surely you have questions for us as well. What do you say? An exchange of information? Oh. Right. You can tell us about the moon, and we can tell you about that beam of light, for instance. That was you guys. Uh, you! I knew it. I heard him. Now we have to go. I knew but it. What if the Empire comes pounding on Florum's yeah. door again? I'll speak with the matriarch about shoring up the city's defenses. In the meantime, count on me to watch over Florum. Okay, You're the best, Alternus. Except I want to fight it off. Monsieur, will you show us the way to your village? But of course. If you would just lend me your map, Mademoiselle... Uh... Magnolia. Enchanté. Magnolia Moi Arch. Même. I am Lotus, engineer of the Sagita. They should have had it be Spanish instead of French. That would have been funny. But Spanish in the United States isn't quite as foreign. Um, okay. So. I'm going to go back in here. And I'm going to talk to this lady. And we're going to start the monk slash and or asterisk. Here we go. Monk or Valkyrie. Gracious me, what an outrage! Can I not even eat dessert in peace? Hey. I thought four servings of cake was enough, ma'am. Now, if you please. Of course, of course, I'm just so busy with everyone pulling me in every direction. I'm starting to get motion sickness. Well then, what's on the agenda for today? Now then, your inspection of the Twilight Ruins and the feasibility mm. study for the new school. Oh, no, 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 no! An inspection and that blasted study? There would need to be two of me to do it all. 
They work me to the bone, I say. To the bone! It's exploitation. That's what it is. They think they're going to dump all this work on me? Alone? Ah! I think not! You! You there! Huh? I hereby name you Florum's Interim Superintendent of Education! Effective immediately! Hetty, do see that all the necessary paperwork is filed. Yes, ma'am. Super and what? <laughs> Sorry, oh, busted. I'm now that that's taken care of, since I am so passionate about Luxendorf's cultural heritage, I will go to the ruins. While you survey people about the new school, your stocky little legs look well suited to tromping about the town, at least. Chop, chop! Hold on, lady. I don't know you from a bowl of gravy, but... Shush, shush, shush! Zip those lips Chancer and move those oobs. Do it. Hmm, <laughs> Oh, don't worry, dear. Everyone is nervous their first time. Take heart. I believe in you. <laughs> we'll be taking our leave then. I'll be waiting for your report. Yes, ma'am. My word, what a powerful figure. She's like a force of nature. Just wait a minute. I still don't even know who any of you people are. The esteemed personage you just met is Miss Ursula U. Duet, Chancellor of Education from Al Campus. Hmm. I am Hetty Steady, one of her administrative assistants. A pleasure to meet you. Uh, and what is this job she just dumped on me? Chancellor Duet has delegated to you the vital task of overseeing all matters of education here in Florum. It's an honor, Superintendent Lee. I love that! Moving up in the world, aren't we now? I had no idea you were so passionate about education, Idia. <sighs> Laugh all you want, guys. Let's just get this over with. What am I supposed to survey or whatever? The Alcampus Ministry of Education is planning to open a new academy right here in Florum. We are conducting a thorough survey of the populace to determine what sort of school might best serve their needs. That sounds pretty vague. Can't you just give me like a yes or no question? Indeed. Let us start with the question of whether or not the campus should be co-educational. Okay, so I'll find out if people want one school for everyone, or separate schools for girls and boys. Then I'm done, right? Not exactly. We already did a preliminary survey. The results being... 10 in support of a co-educational system, 10 in support of single-sex education, and 40 with no particular preference. If you already did the survey, then what do you need me for? <sighs> okay, okay. So, what should I do? Find out more about the co-ed supporters and naysayers? That would be a suitable place to start. The leaders of each faction are both teachers here in town. We would appreciate it if you could listen to their arguments and render a decision. Will you speak with them? I don't see what choice I've got. Lead the way. So I'd be delighted to. If you would just follow me to the city's upper level. That is where we will find the leader of the anti-co-ed faction. One Ms. Rhea Veeling. So I'm in I'm in favor of co-ed co school, right? Boys and girls together. I'm in favor of that, so I want the Valkyrie job. So we're gonna see who I have to fight. Um, it depends. I don't care. Either way, I don't care what happens. I just want the Valkyrie job. Uh, I'm going to get that more than the monk. Just because I like jobs. Monks, I mean, they're cool. You, I think you can use knuckles and stuff. But Valkyrie is more for... Um, you can, oh, jumping. I think Valkyrie is kind of like a dragoon. You can jump and smash people. Stand with us against co-education. Don't allow these outsiders to come in and muddy our good morals. Take a stand against co-education! <laughs> that's funny. So that's the leader of the group that wants separate education? That is correct. Ms. Rhea Veeling. She may come from academia, but many say she has political aspirations. What's with the dowdy old dribble, eh? No one wants to see you out here, you saggy old hag. Oh, that was mean. This is the era of gender equality. 
Home <laughs> education is the only way to the future. Equal, Equal opportunities, opportunities for, for men, men and women. women. One, One school, school for men, men and women. women. And that's the leader for the co-ed supporters? Quite so. Mr. Sweaty Tracksuit. He was hired just this spring as an interim physical education instructor. That mask looks awfully familiar. There you are, and in that grubby tracksuit, no less. Today's the day we win this debate once and for all. Dream on! Just you try with those old-fashioned ideals of yours. Huh. It would seem your awareness of the times is rivaled only by your impeccable fashion sense. <coughs> Look! Forum isn't just for women any longer. Haven't you heard of the Equal Rights Act? It's the law, you old bag! So men and women have equal rights. Why should that mean they have to study together, hmm? Men and women are different, and there's no denying that. Why should they have to do everything exactly the same way? Oh, come off it. What's so different about us? We wear different clothing, we show our emotions differently, we even use different toilets. <laughs> it's like comparing this impeccable couture skirt of mine to a stinky threadbare tracksuit. Huh. Just shows what you know. I bet my tracksuit costs more than your entire outfit, and it actually covers my legs. And the whole world thanks you for that. Some sights can never be unseen, after all. Anyhow, there is simply no reason why girls and boys should have to study together. Why, even if we were to adopt your proposal, the female to male ratio would be nearly 70 to 1. So That's fine. why don't we just set up a boys' school in some big stinky swamp somewhere? I dare say you'd be right at home. Why, you nasty old... Ugh. You expect boys to enjoy that kind of school life? Where's the passion? The romance? Passion? Romance? Oh, oh, school is a place for education, for study. Ha! Shows what you know. Romance might be the single most important part of a student's life. <sighs> Young That's boys funny. and girls sitting across from each other in the classroom, stealing glances. That's all a part of education. The bittersweet taste of first love is what being young is all about. Not that an old maid like you would know anything about that. Oh! Who are you calling an old maid? Ah, oh, I think I've heard enough. I'd better stop this before they sink any lower with their insults. Ah, oh, man, this is funny. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what let's see what he has to say. Here we go. Could I have a minute of your time? What well, you 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 idiot Lee? Huh, I thought I knew that mask. I, ma'am, sweaty tracksuit, formerly of the Attorney and Sky Knights, at your service. I do remember your mask, but I'm afraid that's all I remember. Oh, that's all right. It's only natural. I left the Sky Knights two years ago due to an injury and returned to my home to help out. That's when I went back to school, you see. Last year, I finally got my teacher's license. It was a dream come true. And that's when you came to Florin? That's right. If I may ask, what brings you here, ma'am? Miss Lee is Florin's new superintendent of education. She's here to make an important decision about the new school. Oh, amazing! Daughter of the Grand Marshal, Knights Captain of the Ducal Guard, and now a superintendent, too! Superintendent Lee. Would you give it a rest, Tiz? So, why are you so gung-ho about co-education? What drove you to be the leader of this movement? Uh, I guess... I just wanted to make this new school into something like the Sky Knights. Like the Sky Knights? Yes, ma'am. In the Sky Knights, I served alongside both men and women. Everyone laughing and working together. Sure, 
We didn't always see eye to eye. Sometimes we even came to blows. But we were always there for each other. I want every young person to be able to experience that kind of camaraderie. That's my real dream. I've even thought of a name for the new school. How about the Florum Academy of Passion and Pedagogy? That's certainly a name. I like it. Mm hmm. The Florum School of Burning Passion and Pex. Huh? Hmm? What in the world? Greetings, little friend. It's been far too long, I'd say. You, what was your name again? Tracksuit, sir. Sweaty tracksuit. I was under your direct command, sir. Oh, ho, ho. And if it ain't Idia, how you been, girly? Great. Thanks, Barris. Oh. What an imposing friend you have, Idia. Aren't you going to introduce us? He was one of the helmsmen of the Sky Knights, a main division of the Eternian forces. That's right! Feast your eyes on this! You're looking at the legendary warrior, Paris Lair! <laughs> Barris Lair, the beast in the ring, holder of the monk asterisk. He served briefly alongside Idia in their time as members of the Eternian Sky Knights. A born brawler who lives for the sound of flesh hitting flesh. He has a rugged charm, despite his coarse and vulgar nature. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? So, what are y'all standing around here yammering about, huh? Let me in on the action. Well, would you be willing to join the cause, sir? We could definitely use your support. get what you're so worked up about, but you just want me to say I'm on your side, right? That good? What? Uh, yes, sir. To elaborate, the Sky Knights inspired me to create a learning environment unbound by traditional notions of gender and... Yeah, yeah, sounds good. I'll leave the pesky details to you, kid. I'm on your side. Whatever it is you want to do. Bet you're feeling <laughs> pretty lucky right about now, huh? Huh? Who wouldn't? I'm planning to stick around town for a while, so give a holler if you need me. See ya, tracksuit! Why do I get the feeling he has no idea what he just agreed to? Huh. I have a bad feeling about all this. Again. Well, Superintendent Lee, shall we go hear what Miss Veeling has to say next? All right. Now we'll get the other side of the of the coin, if you will. <gasps> but, but you're Idia Lee! Oh, and after I'd gone to such lengths to hide my past in the Duchy's armed forces. Fine, I'll confess. You forced it out of me. I know you've come all this way to track me down. Ah, no, that's really not. Three years ago, I came with the Blood Rose Legion to corrupt this nation and its people. True, I was only following orders, but still, I knew I had to do something to atone for my crimes, and so I dedicated myself to education. Yes, with this! Education for the educationally challenged! Get your teaching license in just 30 days with our patented method! Hmm. I studied until I sweat blood, and finally, Finally, I became a teacher in this country. Florum is a heavenly nation indeed, full of natural beauty and blessed with a sensitive and gentle-hearted citizenry. I want to preserve its beauty and harmony for generations to come. That is why I teach the girls here as I do. Such noble resolve. Yes, it has touched me to my core. Oh, yeah, see, I'm they jump. They jump. I'm Heria Venus. 
unrelenting warrior and holder of the Valkyrie Asterisk. Eldest of the Venus Sisters, and part of the Blood Rose Legion with whom Idia and her friends did battle. Having studied the sword under the same master, she is more than a match for Idia in strength of both body and This is kind of like a dragoon. She can By jump. what strange trick of fate do your paths mm. cross anew? Well, did she just jump out of the sky? Yeah. I take it this is another of your acquaintances, Idia? I'm afraid so. The Valkyrie Einheria Venus. Einheria. We studied together under Master Kami Izumi. What are you doing back here in Florum? Why, for my training, of course. Why else? <sighs> Never the model warrior. Don't you ever relax? Uh, Commander Einheria! Yes. You were one of my soldiers, weren't you, Miss, um... Veeling! Maria Veeling! It was my pleasure to serve, ma'am! Your efforts on this nation's behalf, they have made a deep impression on me. Seeing your deeds makes me proud to call myself your former commander. The... the... the honor is mine! So let me get this straight. To preserve Florum's beauty and harmony, you think boys and girls should be taught separately? Precisely. I would not deny men equal rights. But why should boys and girls have to learn together? Miss Lee here is the acting superintendent of education. If you have an opinion about the new school, please share it. I believe I've made my feelings clear. Oh, but I have thought of a possible name for the school. What would you think of this? St. Florius Academy for Girls! Yeah, that'll make boys feel real welcome. <laughs> a fine name. Elegant and dignified. I wish I'd thought of it myself. We must do whatever we can to see that your ideas are heard. The future of this nation's educational system is at stake. Yes, ma'am! It looks like we'll be seeing a lot of each other from now on, Idia. It's good to have you on our side. Till we meet again, comrades! She can jump. No, wait. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> now then, Miss Lee, you have heard both sides' opinions. What is your decision? Uh, if it's okay, I'd like to make my report directly to the Chancellor. Certainly, Miss Lee. Chancellor Duet is currently visiting the Twilight Ruins. You will find her in the Western Village there. I trust you will think things over very carefully before rendering your decision. I want the Valkyrie class. Right, let me go to the inn. We're good? Okay. Save the game. There's Alternus. Hey, I will protect this town. You do what you must. Okay, and away we go. Boom. That is going to do it, everyone. So thanks for watching. I'm going to head to the Twilight Ruins next time and figure out what I want. I think I do want the Valkyrie class. But who knows? They might change my mind. We will see. So go ahead and subscribe to keep up with my newest videos. Leave your comments below. Check out all the other videos on my channel and follow me on Twitter at Scoop of Crispy. I'll see you next time. Continuing on with Bravely a Second.